Hi boys and girls and welcome to my YouTube channel and today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph, another story behind the picture. So what we're going to talk about today is setting up and putting together a small assignment. Uh, something that has very low budget, something very simple, something easy to do. A shoot in the Malibu Hills with Yvette Kingston, aka Yvette Nelson. So in order to set up a little shoot like this, obviously Yvette and I correspond with each other via email or Zoom. She actually lets me see some of the clothes that she wants to wear and I talk to her about some of the things that I want her to wear uh, as well. The situation is she sends me pictures of the location and she's got a lot of different areas that she thinks will be great for some of the photographs and uh, I think okay well it looks pretty good I'm, I'm, I could probably piece that all together and make it happen. Going on location when you're away from your studio or even a walking distance away from your car one of the things you don't want to do is to carry a lot of equipment if it's a small assignment and you're not taking a lot of people with you in this particular case it was just going to be me and a vet on the location so I needed to just carry the things that were necessary and the things that I needed obviously were a camera and I needed probably the lens of my choice and a backup lens just in case something goes sideways. So I take two lenses with me and I also take a very small camera, a little point and shoot Canon camera that I'm going to do some video. And all I'm going to do is set it up on a tripod and I'm going to click it on whilst I'm doing the shoot so I can kind of uh, have a little bit of uh, video of me behind the scenes shooting the pictures. Now in order to carry the stuff, which is not going to be a lot, just going to be a small amount, I'm going to take a camera bag and I've got a small camera bag here which uh, I highly recommend. Um, as you can see it's fairly small, it straps onto you quite easily and it's enough space to hold uh, a couple of lenses, two bodies, because I'm going to take a backup body, my little Canon camera and obviously the other things that are necessary such as uh, SD cards and a few other little items. So a little small little camera bag like this is ideal to take with you to carry all your stuff with you. So that's the first thing that I put together is I put together all the photo equipment along with the fact that I'm now making a decision in my head about whether I'm going to take a reflector with me or whether I'm going to do flash fill. And I decide I'm going to do flash fill because if we're going to go to a few different spots like here and like here, I want to have the versatility of controlling my main light and using the sunlight as either background light or light that would help separate my model from my background. So I'm not going to count on where the sun is. I'm also going to look for pretty much some open shade so the light is bouncing around and giving me a nice little fill at the same time. So again, I'm going to be directed towards the idea of using a strobe. So I decide I'm going to take my ring light with me as my main light instead of a reflector because then I would have to look for some place where I can have the sun bouncing back into my area that I'm going to photograph in. And I don't want to do that. I want to control the light. That's my plan of attack is my ring light, small set of items that I need, camera equipment, and also a tripod to put my video camera on so that I can then go on to the location and not have myself bogged down with a bunch of a lot of equipment. So that's the first thing you want to do. Now, the second thing is, is we've discussed different outfits that uh, Yvette wants to wear and I've also talked to her too about uh, maybe some ideas I have with some outfits I've got and I bet you're asking yourself where did I get those jeans well it just so happens that I did a job for a client that was manufacturing jeans and some of the jeans they allowed me to keep so I had these jeans here which I think look very sort of you know 60s monkeys kind of thing um, which I thought were ideal. So I took those with me and I also took these little tiny sunglasses and you can see in the picture here of Yvette with the sunglasses on. I think it looks very kind of kind of cool, kind of hip, groovy if you like. Now on the location as we were walking, 
I happened to see this area where there was a lot of grass that was bleached out and that was ideal for what I wanted to do with the jeans. So the shot here that I did with the jeans was done on the way back and the other shots were done in the places that Yvette decided that uh, she wanted to have her outfit shot at. So that's primarily how I pieced the whole thing together. And uh, it was a very successful day, just the two of us going out and shooting some great photographs. So if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there, some great photographs, and a lot of information that might help inspire you to go out and create some of your own. I'm sure by now you've noticed that a lot of the stuff I do is with people, especially lots of sexy models. So be prepared for that kind of stuff when you pop over there. Now, if you've subscribed to my YouTube channel, thank you very much for subscribing. And if you haven't, I think it's about time you did. It will help inspire me to do more of the story behind the picture. Coming up soon, we're going to be doing some stuff on location, some live shoots, where I'll be showing you exactly what I do. And it either be in the studio or it'll be on location. So stay tuned for that. So there you have it. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now.